welcome back to my channel. So, I have had this box of stuff for weeks now. I wonder if it has a date on it. Don't think it has a date on it, but I have had this box of stuff for weeks and I've been waiting to open it with you so that we can have the same reaction at the same time. And I'm dying to open it, but I just have not had time. So, today is the day and this is going to be my luxury reliked haul from the crazy sale that they had of obviously a couple of weeks ago. The items should have the RRP price still on them, but I will do my best to find out from my reliked account what I paid for each item. I think it was this one, the 13th of May. This was four weeks ago that I placed this order, okay? So their sale was, mm, I don't know what sale they had, I think it was like a 50% off luxury sale, but the items on the site were listed for obviously less than the RRP was, so the price of the items on the site at full price, oh no it was 75% off, it says 75% off, okay so the, pr the original price of the item on the site without the 75% came to a total of £1,503.95 with the 75% discount I spent £381.20 I think that was slightly less um, because some of the items were refunded so two of the items didn't turn up or weren't they couldn't find them or something but yeah, so I paid around 300, just over 300 pounds um, for what they listed as 1500 pounds worth of stuff. But obviously in the grand, like the original prices of this stuff was a lot more than what it was listed on the site. So it's probably, I think I worked it out, it's about three and a half thousand pounds worth of clothes and one accessory <laughs> uh, and a pair of shoes for like 10% of the price. Anyway, enough of me rambling on. I'm dying to get into this, as I'm sure you are, so let's have a look. This is not going to be in any particular order. I'm just going to pull things out of the box and then find what I paid for them on here. Obviously, I'll try everything on so you can see what it looks like as well. So there's a mixture of stuff in here, kind of winter clothes, a couple of summer things, um, just a real mixture of things. I didn't really have a criteria for this. I kind of just bought what I liked. So let's start with this. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. How incredible is this coat? So this was originally £360. It's from L'Academy and it's PVC and faux fur. So RRP is £360 and I paid £24.75. Are these not going to be just the bargains of the absolute century? This is unreal. This is beautiful. This is a size medium as I like most of my coats kind of oversized and it also means that I can put jumpers and things underneath them. So it's this kind of beautiful like crinkly patent leather. It's got two pockets, one, I think this is a zip one. Oh no, no zip. So this is like a little one in here where you can pop little things and then it's got like big deep pockets down here. And then obviously the fur collar which you can actually take off so if you remove that it turns it just into like a raincoat which that's kind of cute I like it both ways this is just going to get so much wear I feel like I need to get rid of some of my older coats that I've had for a really long time and swap them out for some of these new ones but I don't know it's one of those things that I look back on coats that I did have before um, and that I've sold and kind of wish that I still had them so yeah, I don't know. If there's room, then I'll keep them. <laughs> this is definitely a flying start. I don't know why, but this makes me think of like 10 years ago when Topshop was at its peak. Like what Topshop would come out with, but in like a good way. Like I like this. The collar is super soft. It is like, like it sticks kind of but also in the rain I don't feel like that matters or in the winter when it's cold so yeah I'm impressed with this this is really nice I feel like this is gonna get a lot a lot of wear definitely next up I have no idea 
idea what this is. What did I order? This is, see this is so long ago that I can't actually remember what I ordered. Two piece top and skirt, potentially Rococo Sands. This is the one. So I need to find the other part of this. Is this it? This is it. This is it. So this is a two piece. I feel like this is only gonna make sense when I actually put it on and show you. Pe Do people spend this much money on clothes? Because I don't. This was originally 436 pounds as the set. So this has one label for both of them. Very expensive anyway, and I don't doubt that this was probably £436 because on Reliked originally it was 125 and I paid £31.25. pence. So I reckon there's a good £400 saving there on this set. But I love patterns. I know it doesn't always seem like I do, but I do love patterns. And I love that this is kind of this sophisticated, like, silky fabric. The necktie on here matches the skirt, which is so cute. But this is a very much kind of like a work event type outfit. I'd pair some nice heels with this, maybe kind of like a slouchy bag. Not so much a clutch, I don't feel like that would go with this, but definitely a kind of slouchy bag, maybe an over the shoulder one would work with this. And then this is the matching skirt. It's a different material, which confuses me, but it must just be the way that they designed it. So this is more of like a, what's the word? Like a fleecy material, like a soft velvet. That's the word I'm looking for. It's like a soft velvet material with a stretchy waist. So I'm looking forward to trying this one on and seeing what it looks like. It's relatively short at the front. I don't know if, it looks like that's the back. And that's the front so it's relatively short but we'll see what it looks like i actually really like this more than i thought i would it is quite long so i would need to have pretty high heels on or ones with like a platform at the front um i think it would look nice with my valentinos the cream ones but this is an absolute vibe let's move the strap out of the way okay i can't move the strap but this is i love this this feels very kind of bougie, flamenco dancery. This is also kind of a holiday vibe as well. The skirt's a little bit bigger than I thought, but also with the shirt tucked in and everything, it's not necessarily too bad. And obviously you can wear these as separates as well. So enjoying this. I feel like after a few glasses of wine, I'd be like, da da da, da da da. <laughs> okay, I've pulled this out and it's a skincare one this is the only skincare thing i ordered in this i think so this was originally 50 pounds and i paid eight pounds 75 now this is organic prickly pear seed oil i love me some skin oils and some face oils and all of that kind of stuff so this is eco cert prickly pear seed oil 100 percent organic cold pressed batch 001 so i don't know which part of that is the brand but it has a number on it, batch number 205. So I think batch 001 is the brand. I don't know, but it says, powered by nature, made by hand, our eco cert prickly pear seed oil penetrates skin quickly, calms down inflammation, helps stimulate, stimulate collagen production, brightens under eye dark circles whilst deeply moisturizing skin. So I feel like this is gonna be a really luxurious, well, it should be for 50 pounds originally. I feel like it's gonna be a really luxurious nighttime routine oil. Just kind of smells natural. Doesn't necessarily smell of anything in particular, but hmm, looking forward to trying that. Might, maybe I'll use this tonight. I'll use this tonight as like a nice little skincare vibe before I go to bed. What else is in here? Let's do this. What is, ooh, what on earth is this? Oh, it's a coat, another coat. <laughs> this is L'Artigeant Beige LP Over Trench Coat, one size. So this only came in one size. Very fancy label. This was originally 195 pounds and I paid 22 pounds and 25 pence. I love me a good trench coat and I, when I ordered this, I don't actually have, well I still don't until now, but when I ordered this, the reason for it was that I don't have like a classic trench coat. I have a nice Marc Jacobs 
a navy trench coat with like a faux fur hood, but I don't have like a normal bog standard, not bog standard, but normal coloured trench coat. So this is the thinking behind this one. It's definitely a larger fit, but again, I like to wear my coats oversized, so that's fine. I love all of the details. This is kind of like a tortoise shell detailing on here, and the same with the buttons. So this is going to be a real staple, I think, in terms of what I reach for when I just want to throw something on. So yeah, looking forward to trying that one, definitely. I wonder if they've taken the pins up. They have! I hate it when people have these still done up when they shouldn't be. That's probably what that was. <laughs> so yeah, looking forward to trying that one on. I am obsessed with this trench coat. Sorry, I do have the lights on because it's a bit dark in here, so if it keeps going weird, that's why. Sorry. <laughs> this is the belt around here. I can't do this with one hand, but it would look kind of like this when tied together. I like that it's oversized and a bit big. I just really like this. I'm going to see if I can turn the lights down a bit. Okay, that's better. I've turned them down. So, yeah. Love this. It's a great colour. It's just very classic Burberry trench coat, but also not Burberry price. <laughs> I really like the fabric. It's like a nice canvasy. Yeah. What else is in here? What is this? This has a lining. <gasps> okay, I remember ordering this one. So, this is by Colini Milano. Oh my goodness. This was originally £695 and I paid £36 for this dress. Do you remember when Ariana Grande wore that? I think it was her or somebody or maybe it was Kourtney Kardashian pretending to be Ariana Grande like as dress up but somebody wore like a boob tube Barbie pink peplum dress and I've been obsessed with finding one similar ever since and this is the closest that I could find. I don't know if it's going to fit and I'm really worried that it's not going to because I'm going to be so sad if it doesn't. Uh, but how cute is this? I just think that's so adorable and I feel like that's a kind of, you could either do this with dinner, with like a nice shawl and some nice shoes, obviously shoes, but some nice heels, but oh my lord, it's so cute. This is definitely a clutch bag kind of dress, or my little La Florandle um, Diamante bag, that would go really well with this. There's so many things that I want to style this up with, um, oh, they're so cute. But an unreal saving of like 600 pounds, that's crazy. The Ariana Grande dress is on. We had a slight malfunction. So this is the like zip pulley thing. Is it gonna focus? So this is the zip pulley thing and as you can see it's snapped, which I don't think should happen on a dress that should be over 600 pounds if I'm honest. But that being said, obviously I have actually managed to do it up. It's not all the way to the top, but that's only because I can't reach. I could get somebody else to do it up for me. I still really love it, but I would be absolutely furious if I had paid over £600 for this and it did that. But I mean, I'm still happy with the amount I paid and I still love it. Next thing. This is honestly like Christmas. I feel like every time I do a haul, especially because I ordered this four weeks ago, it's like Christmas because I don't even remember what's in here. I'm like, this is new, this is new shopping, but I know I like everything because I picked it. <laughs> this is sparkly, let's do this one, what's this? Ah, this is another dress, I remember this one. Ted Baker metallic skater dress. I don't really have many things from Ted Baker. I think I had a really nice handbag once, but I'm pretty sure I sold that. So I don't think I really own anything by them now, but this is like a really simple, again, kind of very Ari look, Ariana Grande, peplum skirt type dress. I just think this is really nice to be the kind of dress that you go, ah, I have the exact dress for that, or I don't know what to wear, I'm just gonna throw this one on, that kind of thing. It's got a really elasticy, thick material, which I quite like. Um, kind of, it reminds me of the Hervé Leger dresses. I did have one, or did I not? You know like the bandage dresses that everybody had at some point? It reminds me of those a little bit. So this was originally £175 
and I paid £11.25. It does have a zip up the back as well which is really handy, even though it is stretchy but yeah it feels quite heavy which is nice. Um, I feel like the heavier it is the better quality it is. I honestly had no idea that Ted Baker dresses were this flattering. It's so nice. Like it's such a lovely shape. Um, I've changed the setting on my camera so hopefully it shouldn't go so bright but yeah I don't know if this is any better or not. But this is such a nice shape. It's so flattering. It's a great length. I just think this is a really beautiful dress. This is actually probably one of the cheapest things in this haul but up there with my top favourites. So yeah, really impressed with this one. I like this. Ted Baker. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, these look nice. I could have done with these the other day when I needed a smart outfit, but I had not opened this parcel. These are, I don't know whether it's naked or knacked, but when it's like NA-KD, I don't know how to say that, but I know the brand. These are brown linen suit trousers. These were originally £47 and I paid £6.25, so a saving of £40. But these are just really nice, simple, smart trousers. I keep going up to London and things for more events and work and meetings and things like that. And I keep finding that I don't really have like smart summer stuff to wear. So things that I can wear in the warmer weather. I have a lot of smart winter stuff, but not necessarily summer stuff. So that's why I picked these up. These are Bellen Hostelet with Naked or Nacked, whatever it is. It's some kind of collaboration, but yeah, I like these, they feel really nice, they just, yeah, these are good. Really like these four smart high-waisted trousers, obviously I've got kind of like a baggy top, but if there was something smart tucked into here, I just think it would be like a really nice silhouette. You don't have to wear heels with these, you can wear nice smart flats with these. Just again, really nice, well-tailored trousers, yeah like these. I'm into my trouser vibe. Let's keep digging in here. This feels like another dress. This is the LPA Brown Adalia dress. This is an, an extra small but it has ties so I'm hoping this is going to fit properly anyway. This was originally £228 and I paid £19.50 so a saving of just over £200. This is going to be really hard to show you without actually putting it on, but it's like a strappy maxi dress. Well, not quite maxi, maybe kind of knee length, but it's really beautiful for holidays, for summers, for barbecues, that kind of thing. And it's a really light, it's a lightweight material, but there's a lot of it because there's a lining as well. So I don't know how cool it will actually be, but it does have a slit in the side. So maybe that's why, just to cool it down a bit. But the back is relatively strappy as well and it has a tie just here at the top so again it's going to be really hard to show you this until I try it on but yeah this is another cute one. This is making me want to book a holiday it is so cute I haven't done it up properly I need to do the ties at the back so it would sit like this um, but I haven't done this side up properly because I'm just trying it on quickly but that's kind of if I pull it up that side that's kind of how it would sit which is really cute I can imagine this with some really nice like strappy sandals or like strappy heels if out for dinner in the evening so this is really cute I like this and even though it's kind of a lot of material it's still linen-y and it still feels really cool like it doesn't feel like a hot summer dress let's do these shoes because they are on the top staring at me these are SJP which I imagine is Sarah Jessica Parker. I guess this is Sarah Jessica Parker, I'm not really sure if I'm honest. The RRP on these is £255 and I paid £27.25. So there seems, yeah, there's like a theme here with how much the savings are on them. So that's a saving of £220, something like that. These are in a size 7. Aha, here we go. SJP by Sarah Jessica Parker. There we go open these up. They look like they've hardly ever been worn. Maybe once inside? I, yeah. Those are cute. I can think of so many dresses 
that I can wear these with and I've just made another order from Relight <laughs> with some nice like smart dresses so these are going to be fantastic for those. I just really really hope they fit because with all shoes you just never know but they're a beautiful like burgundy velvety colour. I'm loving these. I've popped the shoes on with this outfit just so you can see but I feel like these are going to be really comfortable staple heels that I just choose because they go with everything. These are going to be very versatile. I like these a lot. Well done Sarah Jessica Parker. These are cute. This is something that I would never spend the RRP of this on an item. Even if I was a millionaire, I don't think I could bring myself to do it. It is a swimsuit and it seems like a crazy purchase, but again, it was just crazy discounted. So this swimsuit, before I show you, was originally £583 for a swimsuit and I paid £24.75, which I can stomach. I can absolutely do £24.75. £75? £75. This is by a brand called Adriana de Grasse and it's made in Brazil. Comes with instructions, which is interesting. This piece is part of the Adriana de Grasse exclusive universe and requires special care. Please follow our instructions to ensure your swimsuit doesn't lose its original features. So don't stretch it, don't play on rough surfaces, um, and don't go into the ocean, I think. Hand wash only, wear day and night, and don't wear too long in the sun. Which makes kind of sense, that's just how you look after clothes in general. But yeah, this, I mean I would never spend that much money on a swimsuit, but it is really cute. And it has a beautiful belt around the front. Again, something that's super hard to show you without trying it on. This is a lot higher uh, hip distance than I thought it would be. However, it is from Brazil, so I don't know why I expected anything else. It's one of those luxury things that you wear on holiday and you just feel amazing. So, yeah. Although it, it's not technically a splurge because I didn't spend that much money on it, but it will feel like a splurge when I wear it. This is officially what a £600 swimsuit looks like. <laughs> oh. This is probably the most bougiest thing I have ever worn. This is unbelievably high, but I'm kind of feeling it. Like, I don't know, I feel like it's really flattering. Like my whole bum is out, so I'm not gonna turn around. But this is another level of bougie. Like this is pool party, champagne spray, actually maybe not champagne spray, <laughs> but this is pool party bougie, this is unreal. I, oh my God, it's so good. It's just so good. It's so nice. I need to whiz through the rest because I feel like I'm talking a lot. I think these two are the same, so let's do these two. So these are the cheapest things, and these were Shein blue fitted, so, well, two fitted t-shirts, one blue and one gray, and these were two pounds each. These I just thought were an absolute no-brainer. I think that they weren't expensive to start with. They were only seven pounds to start with, and I paid two pounds. But these are the kind of things that I just throw on all the time. I wear them under stuff, I wear them with stuff, I wear them on their own, to the gym, not to the gym. These are just, yeah, I love a good staple. So they're really cute colours and I imagine they are still on the Shein website as well. So yeah, I like these. I can see two things that are big things. So are they the only ones that we've got left maybe? think they might be, no there's one, should be, Aha. this is another pair of trousers, similar to the linen ones in terms of thought process of when I'm going to wear them, oh these look wonderful, <gasps> these are super long, I'm definitely going to have to wear these with heels, but these are from a brand called Foolish, and they were originally £150, and I paid £5, that's nuts. <laughs> That one's caught me off guard. That's nuts. They just look like they fit so well. I got them in a size 8, obviously because you can only get what you get on Relight. You don't get to choose the size. But I, they look like they fit so well and they're a really nice fabric. 
I'm impressed with these. I've never heard of this brand before until now, but I think it's one that I'm going to look at and definitely give them a follow and see if I can grab some more of their stuff because these look just like they fit so nicely. I'm definitely going to need to wear heels with these trousers, but they are so well fitting. Like, they are just beautiful tailoring. The waist is really cinched in, the pockets are really deep, they come down to here, the straight leg down after that, and they've got the um, dart down the front of them as well. They're just, yeah, these are amazing. They fit so well. I can't get over how well they fit. They're so nice. Just so you can see a bit closer up. Oh, love these. Definitely going to keep on the lookout for more of these ones. Then I think these are the last two things, but these are amazing. So this coat, I wanted it for ages and I told myself that I wasn't allowed to have it. The two last things are coats. I told myself I wasn't allowed to have it because I think they're the only ones left. Yeah, the other two didn't turn up, which I need to chase up. I told myself I didn't need either of these because I have so many coats that I can't actually fit them in my wardrobe. I have two suitcases full of coats in my attic and then I switch them around and put my summer coats in my wardrobe. I have an obscene amount of coats, it's kind of an obsession, but also I work really hard so I deserve it. <laughs> okay, let's start with the first one. You're gonna think I'm crazy, but also, oh, it's just so good. Okay, so let's do the price first. This is by a brand called Liar, or Leah, Liar. L-I-Y-A. This was originally £709 and I paid £57, which is just an unbelievable saving. But look how cool this is. I just love it. It's got like plasticky bits on it and I'm guessing that's what it was wrapped in before. Um, so I will take those off, but they're all going to stick to me because it's going to be static. <gasps> But how cool is this? It's definitely been wrapped in something because I'm taking all these bits of plastic off, but I don't care because this is such a cool coat. So it has knitted sleeves like this and it, that looks like it has some kind of arm or like wrist strap in it as well, but it's got plaited through the same um, leather with like a velvet backing that's on the rest of the coat. It's a long coat so it's got like a matrix vibe bit at the back here. But I just looked at it and thought that is something that I'm gonna wear and feel like I'm in a movie, like I'm just walking like ta -da, in my coat. So I love this. I can't wait to show you it on. It also has a belt here which I will tie around but I don't I don't know, I think I might just have it without the belt sometimes. It does show it in the photo with the belt, but hmm, we'll see, we'll try it both ways. I really like this. It's definitely different to how I thought it would be, but I still really like it. I'm still finding these pieces of plastic, <laughs> but it doesn't have like gaps or like uh, hooks for the belt. I don't know what this tie thing is for. Um, I don't know where this goes. So I've tucked it in on this side, but obviously not on that side. If anyone knows where that's supposed to go, please do let me know in the comments because I don't know. But this is what it looks like without the belt. Oh, that's my ankle. Without the belt attached. Then the last item is another beautiful coat. This is by a brand called Marciano Los Angeles. This was originally £395 and I paid a grand total of £24.75. I'm still covered in little bits of packaging. So that was a saving of £360 or £70, which is crazy. Before anyone shouts at me, yes, this is faux fur. Uh, even if I do have anything fur, it's only ever antique or properly vintage and mostly falling apart. But this is faux fur and just, oh, it feels amazing. Look how beautiful this is. And it's got blue through it. It's just such a beautiful colour. This is so luxury. Like, I would wear this to the opera or the ballet. Like, this is beautiful. It's just... It's not even winter and I'm buying winter stuff and I'm absolutely boiling in here but I just wanted to cuddle with this coat. 
I am not a summer person as it is, but this is literally making me want it to be winter tomorrow. How amazing is this coat? Oh my goodness. It's just so luxury and so beautiful and it has pockets and it really does simulate real fur which I know is going to make some people angry but it really does but I like it oh this is beautiful and it feels warm as well oh love this that is everything for the haul thank you so much for watching comment below your favorite item or your favorite outfit and don't forget to check out reliked I do have a discount code for them I didn't use it obviously for this order because they already had a discount on this but I don't know if you can add my discount on top I think you can you can put more than one but even so you can use my discount on anything on the website and all of their items are reduced anyway so it's as you can see really good prices I'll leave all the links and everything in the description box below thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video